An officer controlled intersection can sometimes be confusing even for most human drivers. So today, here we are, in LA, in a Waymo I pace, that's about to try and navigate that very situation all on its own. Now I posted this clip that I filmed on Reddit a few days ago, and it was quite a topic of discussion. For now though, I'm just going to let the clip speak for itself. Wow. Wow indeed. Let's take another look at what happens there step by step. So the first notable event here is one of the first interactions the car has with the officer. As you can see, the officer signals to the lane to our right to proceed through the intersection. The Waymo driver appears to flawlessly understand the intent of the officer here and stay put despite them pointing in our general direction. This is something incredibly difficult for an autonomous vehicle to understand, as it would have to potentially understand eye contact and carefully track the position of the arm to understand the intent here. Next, we get to see some incredible real-time decision making on the car's behalf. Take a look at the wheel here. As the officer raises their hand, the car seems to initially turn to the left as if it thinks it's our turn to go, but then quickly corrects itself back to the right as it has time to further understand its instructions to sit and wait where the officer indicates. Again, truly impressive behavior here. Finally, the officer stops the oncoming traffic and the car reacts immediately when told to go. The speed in which it's able to interpret the signal is what makes this clip just so mind blowing. Now, the skeptics among you may be asking, isn't the car just proceeding because the oncoming traffic stopped? A lot of people proposed this explanation when I initially posted this clip on Reddit. However, I don't believe this is the case. Let me show you an example to explain why. In this clip, we can see traffic coming to a stop on our left, similar to our hand signal clip. What's for the point where the Waymo driver decides it's okay to proceed? As we can see here, the traffic hasn't even come to a complete stop before the car starts to go. The slowing of the traffic is enough for the car to be confident that it's safe to proceed, and so it does. Let's compare this to our hand signal clip. The oncoming traffic has come to a full stop, and the car is still waiting. And now, the car proceeds, immediately after being given a hand signal. This difference in behavior seems to convincingly suggest the car is reacting to the officer in real time, rather than just a clear intersection. But what about the time where we were told to come forward and wait? Well, let's take a look at how the officer moves. See? The only thing that's changed is the signal they're giving. They didn't step back or out of the way. This once again points to the Waymo driver interpreting the hand signal. Well, what about remote assistance? Can't Waymo vehicles be controlled remotely? Well, to start with, no. They really can't. They can't be driven remotely. They don't have people sat in an office somewhere with one of these. No, remote assistance can only provide guidance to the car. For example, make a three point turn here, back up here, proceed, etc. So how can we tell if remote assistance was helping the car here? Well, usually the car will tell you right on its front screen that our team is working to get you moving. This never happened here. Well, does the car have to tell us it's getting help? Well, admittedly, it doesn't. JJ Ricks, a well-renowned Waymo enthusiast, tells us that the car can be helped without us knowing. Backing us up with an absolutely fantastic interview he did with Waymo Engineer. I have it linked below so you can check it out, it's well worth a watch. So, with this in mind, how can we be sure that this wasn't the work of remote assistance? Well, when the car is helped remotely, it usually takes quite a while. Look at this clip, when the car gets confused by this gate. It sits here for a good 20 seconds before it gets some help.
the reaction to the hand signals was far too fast and real time for this to have been done remotely. But how can we prove this for sure? Surely we can't disprove that the car was helped remotely with 100% certainty? I'll leave this here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first video. Please like and subscribe and tell me what I can do to improve my videos in the comments. I'll soon be posting some interesting drives I've had with Waymo in LA with a proper camera mount so the video isn't as shaky and handheld as it was here. Sorry about that. Anyway, see you next time. This has been Autonomy Central, signing off.